my, my next question is that while the Da'is are travelling around the world to spread the good image of Islam, how much are these Da'is actually doing to actually correct the Muslims' misconceptions themselves and talk to people like Osama Laden or to the Taliban, etc. and say to them that, look, no matter how good your intention is, what you are doing is damaging to Islam. Thank you. What are the Da'is doing to remove this misconception from the Muslims? Why they make never the Muslims? Brother, I can speak on my behalf. I can't speak on the other days. Alhamdulillah, if you see my cassettes, I've spoken on this topic, Human Rights in Islam, Al-Quran, Shibu, there is understanding, dietary laws. My topics are both address non-Muslims as well as Muslims, making them more aware. Many Muslims don't even know the rights which Islam gives to the women. Many Muslims live aside non-Muslims. So I educate them also and I do Dawah, Islam and Dawah together. Regarding values, you can refer to my video because of Islam introduction where I have given the basic values I have spoken not to bribe, not to have alcohol, not to cheat, etc. Quran says in Surah Ghaisha, chapter number 88, verse number 21, anta muzakkir. For your job, O Prophet, is to deliver the message, admonish them. You are not a person who is going to look into the affairs. Our job is to deliver the message. Whether anyone accepts Islam or not, that's in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our job is to deliver the message. I have delivered you the message. Whether you follow or not, that's your problem. So our job as dais is to deliver the message of Islam in the best way we can, with hikmah. Whether you agree or not, Allah will question you. Regarding telling Osama bin Laden and Taliban, what they are doing is damaging Islam, etc. Whether that is your view. That is your view that Osama bin Laden and Taliban are damaging Islam. See, for the haq, you mentioned the glorious Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse 135, it says that, Ya yo lazina amunu, O you believe, stand out firmly for justice as witness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it be against yourself, against your parents, against your kith and kin, whether it be the poor or the rich, Allah protects both. Now, what we read in the papers, the Taliban is bad, Taliban is good, you know, we read in the paper, oh, Taliban, they are ill in the women, etc. I am not a person who is an expert on politics. I'm a Dai. I'm a Dai. I'm not an expert in politics. But there are experts. If you ask my view about Taliban, you know, Quran says in Surah Hujra, chapter 49, verse number 6, that before you pass on the message, you verify whether it's right or wrong. I read in the papers, in the papers, that the Taliban, oh, they are very ruthless people, you know. They said all women should stop working. They should stop working and I should sit at home, finish. I read it. Right or wrong? Allah Alam. I read the news from America. In Taliban, they said that it is not good for the women to go out and work because the atmosphere is not modest. We will see to it that they receive their salary at the doorstep. If my sister was living in Afghanistan and if someone tells me at the doorstep, is it good or bad? If your sister was there in Afghanistan, if someone says, you know, the atmosphere there outside is bad, we will give your sister salary at the doorstep without working. Which would you prefer? I am not telling which news is, I don't know which news is correct. So I'm not saying Taliban is good or bad. I get two different news. But before you ever make a comment that teach these people, Allah will question you. Did you check up the news? So you as a Muslim saying that Osama bin Laden is right or wrong. Have you checked up? What we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them on the straight path. You know, as I said, bombing in Nigeria, American consulate, Osama bin Laden, headline. Did or not? We don't know. But if you ask my view, if he's on the truth, if he's fighting the enemies of Islam, I'm for him. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not in touch with him. I don't know him personally. I read for newspapers. If he's terrorizing the terrorist, if he's terrorizing America, the terrorist, biggest terrorist, I'm with him. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. The thing is that if he's terrorizing a terrorist, he's following Islam. Whether he is or not, I don't know. So don't go and tell outside that Zakir Naik is for Osama bin Laden. I am with him if he is terrorizing the terrorist. I am with him and I will do dhuas for him. If he is not, I am against him. I don't know what he is. I cannot base my judgment as a Dai only on news. But you as a Muslim without checking up, laying allegations also wrong. So I am with those people who are following the Quran. Even if the full world is against them, I am with them. You know, because Quran says in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 160, it says that if Allah 
helps you, no one can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who will help you then? So let the believers put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.